Welcome to module two. And uh, at the start of this module, we're going to be doing warm up and pinmanship training. I'm going to show you a warm up exercise that is really designed to help you improve your penmanship, how you basically draw lines and how you can basically get a good way to loosen up, draw with your arm. And um, it's a great exercise. You can do it digitally. You can do it traditionally. It doesn't really matter. So let's get right into it. So the first stage of this is to really just draw a page of circles and notice how fast I'm drawing them. I'm kind of keeping my wrist kind of locked and using my arm and my elbow to draw these. So all you have to do is basically say, okay, let me draw circles without moving my wrist. And I also want you to pay careful attention to how loose I'm being. You can see that here and here and here and all these areas, the circles don't necessarily close properly. Now you want to strive to have good, perfect circles as perfect as possible, but not at the expense of drawing slowly, right? Or anything like that. We don't want to draw slowly. We don't want to do anything like that. All right. So just be very loose, lock your wrist and move your arm and do a page of circles, right? I'll try and be as perfect as I can here. Right. And what I'll often do is just put circles in the circles, smaller circles, not using my wrist. Once again, don't use your wrist. So that's what we want to do as the first exercise, add a new layer or get a new page. And what we want to do after that is draw some ellipses. Now, what is an ellipse? An ellipse is a circle that if rotated slightly, is now in perspective, right? So it's basically still the same circle. It's the same little, let's pretend it's a dish, for example, right? We've just rotated in perspective. That's what an ellipse is. And uh, you know your ellipses are good if you can cut them down the middle here. And this is called the minor axis for your theory nerds out there. Whoops, what am I saying? I was going to type minor theory, minor axis, right? If you cut it through the middle, right on the minor axis, the major axis is not important to us, that would be cutting it vertically, and you're able to fold one side over the other and they reason they match fairly well or perfectly, right? This one's pretty okay. Um, also a point to note, just a side note, the minor axis will always point to a vanishing point in perspective, if you know a lot about perspective, right? Nevertheless, what we want to do is a page of ellipses, and just kind of get that arm motion of drawing ellipses. And you can vary the degree of the ellipse. That is the spacing in between the ellipse. So what degree of rotation is happening to the circle? So you can do very thin little ellipses, or you can try to do kind of bigger ellipses. The whole thing is to ensure that both sides really are the same as each other. All right. And what you can do after you've done a page of ellipses is just run through and check them and just put a tick or a cross if you felt it was a good ellipse or a bad ellipse. Right, that one's not super good. This one's reasonable. This one's reasonable too. Bad. This one's okay. That one's bad. And once again, I want to reinforce loose, just be loose, physically loose in your arm, right? Now, the lesson coming up called looseness and dynamism will really go in depth as, as to what it means to be loose in terms of physically loose in your arm. So that is coming up. But nevertheless, I want you guys to start doing the warm up exercises already. All right, not super good in the episodes, no big deal. It's just a warm up exercise. All right, the next thing that you guys should do on the warm up exercise and penmanship training is really draw straight lines as straight as you can, freehand very quickly, not slowly at all, and try and keep them as parallel as possible. This is especially useful when you're trying to do obviously straight lines in your work. If you're doing any kind of industrial design drawing, um, and I would just generally do this a couple of times, top to bottom, bottom to top, just doing my best, putting the lines in very quickly. You can see how quickly I'm drawing this, locking my wrist 
and trying to get as straight a line as possible. You can see here I kind of veer, the lines are not perfectly parallel, they taper a little bit, tapering, tapering, they're kind of converging, heading to converge somewhere. But it's a great exercise and um, I'd probably just do about three pages, two or three pages where I'm just, just constantly training my arm, moving it quickly. And you'll see the more you get it and the more you focus, the better you get as time goes by. And I usually do one of these entire exercise workflows, warm up exercises in about five minutes just before I start drawing and it helps to really loosen up the arm because getting nice smooth lines really requires um, a looseness, a physical looseness. Okay. And then last but not least is the point to point exercise. The point to point exercise really is you put about six, seven dots on the page and what you want to try and do is ghost the line if you have to. Let me make the cursor a little bit bigger here so you can see. So kind of, you want to try and have a straight shot, as straightest line as possible, joining these two points together. And so I ghost the line. Basically, I don't draw. I kind of just hover my hand to try and make the shot and then try and go for it. Didn't quite hit it, but the line's pretty nice and straight. And then I'll try the next one. Now, if you're on paper, feel free to rotate the page. Photoshop, you can hit R and uh, you can then rotate the page like that because I find that I draw straight lines reasonably accurately from bottom to top. Ghosting, trying to hit it. So here I will ghost this one as well. Okay, hit it, but I overshot a little bit, but the line's fairly straight. And the overshoot's on the end of the world. You're really just trying to train yourself to draw very straight lines. Okay, and that one's pretty reasonable. Right. So in summary, the workflow for the warm up and penmanship training, and I recommend you do this every day before you start to draw, is do a page of circles very loosely, a page of ellipses very loosely. Don't forget to measure them down the middle to check their accuracy. A page of lines, straight lines, or two or three pages if you wish, if you're pretty quick at it. And then a single page of point to point where you want to connect the lines together with as straight a line as possible, connect the points together with a straight line as possible. That's the end of this lesson. Let's move on to the next lesson.